There's a lot of talk about how selling is changing, with practically a communication revolution underway as we move from existing sales activities into the Web2 world with what people are calling Sales2 activities. So here we are on the normal desktop screen of any PC or laptop where we'll be looking at the various applications you might already be using to deal with your customers and prospects. We're also going to be featuring the Sales Direction database here, which is research stretching way back to the 1980s, where it started life as the circulation list of the leading print magazine for UK sales management, Sales Direction. The data is now telephone researched to identify all the leading sales teams in the UK and their decision makers, supplied then as databases for our customers to use for targeted direct marketing. Any data for any sales team approaching any market would equally apply though. So, access. That's what we hold the Sales Direction database in, but we do mostly send it as email attachments to our customers who therefore get it as a CSV or XLS file going into Excel. Excel is therefore frequently doubling up for holding data, but is possibly also where your business plans expenses and sales reporting and forecasting is being done. Then we possibly use a bit of wizardry to mail merge that data with Word, which is for writing words surprisingly. That's good so far but these days we've all gone a bit digital haven't we? And the telephone and the Royal Mail are becoming harder and harder to use as the only way we communicate with each other. So it's not just texting him or her indoors, it's also our customers and prospects in the business world who want stuff sent by email these days. So now we have Outlook. If you're anything like me, you've probably mostly just been using this amazing application for sending and receiving emails in this bit. But look, there is a lot more stuff that you can do. Like, of course, actually holding your contacts with some of their essential contact details and then managing your activities with them, arranging meetings, organizing your to-do lists, and so on and so on. So typically, this is what a bunch of record cards would look like, it being the basics of a, a, a CRM, customer relationship management, or at least contact management tool. However, integration is also at the heart of these applications, in this instance via market leader Microsoft and its office suite of applications, which joins up the dots. So what's new? Well, quite a lot actually, because the thing that modern selling professionals want to do is to also integrate all of this with the internet, perhaps to go and explore what all their customers and prospects are doing on there. They're doing more and more too, with survey after survey reflecting what we all now tend to do when we want to buy practically anything. We search, we inquire, we look for recommendations and referrals, and we read up on it a bit and start to connect with the people and companies that we think can solve whatever problem, need, want or desire we might have at this precise moment, all on the internet. Now there are of course a huge range of options when we enter this new virtual world as I'm sure you know. College kids like Bill Gates once was seem to keep cropping up as the new ones on the block and many are starting to make a bit of a noise with their audacious startups. You might have heard of Google for example. But let's stay with Microsoft and see what's happening in this more familiar territory. And in February 2010, for example, they have identified LinkedIn as the dominant platform, enabling you to start to make connections with your customers and prospects. So back into Outlook, but now in thoroughly modern selling mode. And wow, our data has now sprung into life virtually. Here's a beta mode, brand new, free download from Microsoft, and it integrates Outlook with LinkedIn. Now we can start to make some kind of sense of what our prospect list really is. Who is in it? Who do they work for? What are they doing, saying, looking for, or complaining about? And how might we already be connected? On top of that, you should also be considering how we, as salespeople, 
can make use of the ton of business information and business intelligence that is around and can be brought into play? And how can we access and manage that, using it to guide our selling activities, to make better and better contacts, offering meaningful solutions to genuine problems that are spot on for the buyer? So back to good old sales direction database, but now we've got the data integrated even one step further. This application is Virtual Contact, which 2N Media are piloting as a test case and which also brings into play all of the other selling tools you might have been struggling to automate and integrate into your sales systems and strategies. It does everything that salespeople might want it to do, like sending a customer newsletter, emailed of course, or scheduling which ones we want to call back and when, and then reporting on how we're getting on and at what stage of the sales cycle each one is, giving us the dashboards, overviews and reports that help to guide us to what we should be concentrating on next to keep the whole show on the road. Other cloud and hosted CRM systems will equally do parts or all of these jobs though, like Microsoft Dynamics, so please feel free to substitute the following examples for your favourite application if you'd like to. We're just happy to have the working examples here. Anyway, now look, here's the rest of the data that the salespeople never saw before. And it's absolutely crucial for customers of sales direction that they know things like what this company actually sells or does, whether it's part of a group that they might already be doing business with, how many salespeople do they employ, is that telesales or field sales, or have they got a bigger sales force nationally than are just based at this address. All there, right in front of you, as you make whatever contact it might be with this key decision maker. The absolute killer here is that virtual contact can also be fully integrated with Outlook. So if your data is in one, it's in the other. So now it doesn't matter anymore who, how, where, when, and by what communication channel you're touching base with your customers and prospects. You want to send them a mail shot? Mail merge sales direction data via Outlook and Word. You want to make a telephone call? Look up and schedule the calls in Outlook and virtual contact and know what you're talking about. You want to send a single email? Outlook and virtual contact. You want to send a customer or prospect newsletter and to run a split test first to see which headline has more appeal and to see who opened it and to make them your follow-up calls? Virtual contact. You want to further tickle their interest and see if you can get some of them to call or email you and then look up who they are and why they might be contacting you. Outlook, virtual contact, your website, modernselling.com, LinkedIn. Finally, please don't miss the point that these self-same tools and techniques can be used with the vast majority of any sales teams using whatever databases pointing in whichever direction at any target market. There are actually horizons in both directions, ahead of us and behind us, and there is an awful lot of stuff that happens on the vast playing field in between the two. Some of it good, some of it not so good. But if it's selling that you're interested in, multimedia, modern selling to be precise, and how you can join in with the future of selling in the UK, training, offering IT support, recruiting, employing, motivating, targeting, generating leads or in any other way helping and supporting UK salespeople and teams, we thoroughly recommend that you look forwards this way.